it's it's really tough to explain. Um, I've really never felt anything like this before. Um, you know, in the moment it was uh, shocking and it was a bit of a rush. But um, I mean, after that, it's just a ton of excitement to get ready to start with the Mets. So I'm thankful to the to the organization, to Brody and everybody else. And um, man, I, I can't wait. As a baseball player, I want to get you know the fans engaged and excited. So I definitely bring a lot of energy. Um, you know, I'm, I'm a big talker. I love to communicate. Um, that's obviously an important thing, but also I think, uh, you know, being vocal on the field is, you know, kind of all around a, a good thing to do. So, um, energy excitement. Um, I want to, you know, interact with the fans. I want to be, uh, you know, more than just a baseball player. It, it was always hard for me to kind of, to compare myself to somebody else. I always wanted to be the best version of myself that I could be. So I always just picked out players that I genuinely enjoyed watching and, that goes from guys like Javi Baez and Acuna to more recent ones like Soto and guys like that. Um, I was a big McCutcheon fan growing up. Um, I mean, Griffey's my favorite player of all time. Obviously, I didn't really get to see much of him, but guys that, you know, look like they're having a good time. And, and I mean, the things they can do on the field are obviously something to shoot for. So I think that's always kind of how I modeled my game after different people. I started hearing about the whole Jenny Haywood thing from other people besides, you know, my family when I was around 12. Um, and I think it's cool. People thought that was a neat little fact and I love the movie and I think I'd love it if my mom wasn't in it, but, uh, you know, she was obviously also great in it. So, um, I'm a big fan of the movie, but, um, yeah, man, I think it's a cool little, little fun fact too. So,